Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Okay, I'm just going to come out guns blazing on this one because you know what? I love all the actors in How to Be Single. I just think that the movie itself is kind of repugnant, glib, sloppy, borderline incoherent, manipulative, and cliched. How to be single plays itself off as some sort of clever commentary on relationships in this day and age, but contains not a single character that behaves or talks like a real person. Like the world's longest and least focused episode of Sex in the City, How to be Single presents several iterations of romantic coupling from one night stands to unrequited love to everything in between, but doesn't give you one couple you actually want to root for. But looking at the film's title, maybe that's not the point. But the point the movie does arrive at after it's knocked its main character, played by Dakota Johnson, around like a pinball, is so heavy-handed and out of left field that it takes Sex in the City-style voiceover narration to try and tie it all together, and even then it'll have you slap in your forehead. How to be single is a shoddy piece of work, shoehorning emotion into its cynical framework without earning it, using fortune cookie cliches to feign wisdom about relationships without letting a realistic relationship actually play out in front of us like it did in, say, uh, Trainwreck. I resented the hell out of this movie. This is an abomination! That's it for the capsule review. Let's get in depth. Look, I could go in depth into the various characters and relationships in this film, but we don't have that kind of time. Instead, I'll just give examples of just how clunky the storytelling is here. How to be single contains, well, it's definitely a modern conceit, isn't it? In any movie or TV show regarding relationships, the rules. Seinfeld did it, Swingers did it, Girls, Sex and the City does it, How I Met Your Mother did it better than it's ever been done before. Have a group of people come up with funny, universal rules for dating and relationships. I'm thinking of things like the three-day callback or the crazy hotness scale, the breakup rules of Sex in the City. It's all tried and true. In How to Be Single, we're introduced to one rule regarding a number of drinks and sex that not only doesn't make any sense, but gets applied in the weirdest and most incongruous of ways. A character who is seemingly not interested in having sex with someone realizes that together they've had the appropriate number of drinks and thus they have to have sex, even though she wasn't quite that interested. You know, she didn't really want to, but rules are rules. Uh, uh, no. No means no. If you don't want to have sex, who, who cares how many drinks you had? And when relationship wisdom isn't dispensed in difficult to understand rules, it's given in the form of incredibly on-the-nose dialogue. At most times, when characters discuss their relationships, they seem to be just mouthpieces for the writer's stereotyped views on love, rather than real people talking about themselves and each other in a natural way. They just say who they are and what they want and what their problems are without letting it come out naturally. Because now you can focus on your career. What? No. I put myself out into the world and it completely rejected me. Whoa! Okay, you haven't been single for that long. Yeah. You gotta go around the board. Pass go, collect 200 Oh, I don't want to be like you, Meg. I don't want my job to be my entire life. Ooh, okay. Sisters, time out. This is not how normal people talk. These scenes don't even build or move the story along in any meaningful way. They start and end so abruptly, and then we just move on to the next scene. They just kind of lie there. The dialogue is only not stilted and awkward during scenes where the director clearly allowed these very talented actors to improvise and just pick the best of the improvised lines to put them in the film. But not the best one line, like four or five of the best improvised lines in succession. You really need to get that taken care of. What do you mean? I barely have any hair. It's like you dropped your hairbrush and your vagina caught it. I could make dreadlocks with that bush and form a reggae band. That looks like a whole bowl of petrified curly fries. It's like Gandalf is staring right at me. No penis shall pass! So many strange storytelling choices. Like the decision to shoot the film with the sort of soft focus, handheld cinema verite style, but only occasionally. Or showing two characters get together in one scene, then cutting to three months later, and the very next scene is the one where they break up. Like back to back. 
Look, this is a very appealing cast. These are all talented utility players, and they are forced in this movie to play people that are completely unbelievable as human beings. There's no way that some of these scenes would ever play out the way that they do with real, normal people. Are we good? Payment accepted. Let's go. Look, look, look. There are some people who say that if it's a chick flick, it shouldn't be held to as high a standard. Oh, oh, it's just like a Harlequin romance novel. It's just trash, you know? Why you gotta pick on it so much? Well, you know what? Your 10 bucks is your 10 bucks. Whether it's a chick flick or a Western, a slasher movie or a war epic, there are good films in each category and there are terrible films in each category. And just because a movie has relationships in it doesn't give it a free pass to be bad. Ladies, I'm talking to you now. How to be single doesn't respect you. It shamelessly tries to manipulate you, and you, ladies, deserve better. Empty bag of popcorn for this piece of garbage. I'm done. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop, and click the icon right down there to visit our channel. You'll be able to view all of our other videos, and more importantly, click subscribe, so you can keep up with all the latest episodes, and so we can keep doing what we do. In the meantime, leave your comments below and click the thumbs up if you like what you heard. Thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and uh, guess what? I already knew how to be single. Turns out, it's not that hard. <laughs>